All right, what's up guys? We are back for another ESPN MIC highlight reels. MIC is taking it by storm just like Spy is. Retirement is back on. Let's go. We're off the lows. But obviously, we are not talking about that. So we are going to talk about day trading, guys, and kind of every single week that I do this video, it's very much predicated on what happened during the week. What did Alex do? Um, let's see potential. Let's see the results of the members. Let's see everything. So, But I do like what the Spy is doing right now. So guys, if you get any value out of this video obviously you want more information on mic you kind of want to look into our club a little bit further all you got to do is just text 213-458-5997 and i will show you in a little bit also how to book a call but let's dive in so all right so we're coming off monday the 27th alex had a sick week so just to recap, I'm sure you guys remember the last two weeks, believe it or not, Alex was red. Very rare. I can't remember the last time Alex had a red week, let alone two, if not in years. So he sprung back this week so good, guys. And it was just really cool to see. So 14,000, 15,000, five, four, five, like we'll go through it all. So on Monday, Alex had a nice start to the week on CRFX short, which I have the chart. Everything was, everything was look, everyone was looking for the next runner. And the opposite actually happened. So really thought this would unwind more, but can't complain, slow and steady, recovering from last week's losses. So Alex wasn't pushing too hard. He was doing exactly what he should, and he did a really good job. So let's pull this up. CFRX. Let me go to the 27th, I think it is. CFRX. All right, so let me pull up a 20-day chart so I can see the bird's eye. And then obviously, guys, that's right here, 27th, you can follow along with the date. So what Alex was saying, you know, obviously during pre-market, potential hot chick this morning. So ignoring it until a death candle. And there is the death candle, guys. Oh, my God. So as you guys can see, this thing is so I'll kind of I'll kind of zoom in for a sec. This is strong pre-market, guys. This is not something you want to run over. We teach this. This is a huge, 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 humongous, big time indicator or pattern or just edge it mic that you're going to understand so when something is really strong like this guys what do you need you need a sentiment change you need this you need a massive stuff you need a halt down you need a death count you need something that's just going to tell longs maybe this is not going to continue with jeff bezos and elon musk to the moon and mars so we got that we got the death line you know I'm sorry, we got the death candle short. Uh, it started popping right here, exactly where Alex started getting in, and obviously caught that first one, then obviously hit it where it's failed before. I was actually, believe it or not, I was actually pretty surprised Alex didn't add um, in here when it tested back, but he got some really nice covers at lows, as you guys can see, and just all around, it's just such a beautiful play. It's just so beautiful. So if you guys have been sleep under a rock, let me just explain real quick. I took a screenshot of this. Alex started the year at 35k account challenge guys with a goal to get it to a million dollars by the end of the year now we're barely in march and he got it to 950 so i'm going to keep you you know abreast of the situation and what's going on but obviously it's a lot more by the end of the week so that's that's monday so the members let me showcase the members rockman really stood out to me this week this member is crushing i loved what he did in a long here on c cfrx long uh obviously pre-market and then while it was strong, and then David A W I N long. Guys, we are not just a short community. C F R X long again on Trevor riding trend, selling when he should, and just just a really clean, nice job. David again just getting really good at um, ambidextrous trading or kind of bipolar trading where you long and you short and you kind of do both ends of the spectrum. Awesome, awesome, awesome job here. And then I think what he did, yeah, what he did was he did an AWIN long and then switched to short and he's just really good at that. So when something tops out and something stuffs, he goes, well, that's the sentiment change. So if I am stubborn and if I want to break rules, I'll just keep longing. But guys, that's when he flip short. So Really nice job, David. And then Bon, A-W-I-N, beautiful, beautiful skills in the outer lines. And then I got to shout out Kay Lewis. <laughs> Dude, this is the best. Wife thought I was crazy, but I had to verbally tell myself to be patient and wait for the A-plus setups only. Let the ticker walk in your lines, 1500 bucks. The wife thought I was nuts. I love that, dude. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we're coming into Tuesday. Let's see what Alex was doing. $15,000 on AMC. Was anticipating some profit taking on AMC before earnings had closed. Did not expect the major squeeze out the open to be as strong as it was. Keeping size in check was the key for this trade working out well. I don't have Alex's chart, guys, but I'll just kind of show you uh, the chart just so you can get, kind of get an idea on the 28th. 
um, this is this is the bleed that happened, guys. It was just it was unbelievable, right? So AMC, you know, kind of careens up the day before. It's strong. It you know it, it it's day two essentially on this pattern right here. And then you know if you were catching outer lines or you're waiting for tops before me hitting pops under VWAP, I mean the deviation under VWAP and following trend. This is this is just game over. And then look at the melt after hours, man. That was nuts. So you know Alex had a really good day there, bringing the total to $571,000, guys. Or, I'm sorry, $571,000. $571,000 for the month of February. But, again, he's up to $964,000 for the year. So, guys, that's one month. Like, those are people's yearly numbers in a month. So, that's February, but Alex's main total was $964,000. So, let's see what the members were doing as everybody... God, the, the community just crushed it this week, man. This was just one of those weeks that stands out big time because the members' results. Rockmon, again, getting so patient on those shorts, doing a really good job. Also on his long side, he does both. Um, Jasper, LLAP, I love this use of scale right here. Really good use of lines. Hooper X, um, just what, what can we expect from this guy? Some really, really good sniper entries at, at highs, at outer lines, and covering when he should on AI. Soy sauce. <laughs> this guy, this guy is just getting it, man. This guy is just getting it. There's not much more to say than this. I used to shoot this guy out or shout him out every single webinar, but dude, there's no need. He's a master now. He's a, he's, he's a freaking, he teaches us now practically. Steven, dis, disciplinary workshop, guys, check this out. Great job making and sticking to your plans in the disciplinary workshop. Trend supporter, been with us for a while. Guys, look at his month. Green, green, lost, green, 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 green. Like, it's just... This is the power of the disciplinary workshop, guys, and holding yourself accountable daily. And again, I mean, you know me, man, whether it's diet, you know, anything in life, I am the discipline guy. So if you are disciplined, you are going to see results. So you don't have to, you don't have to sell me on discipline, man. I know all about it. So this is what I love on Wednesday, guys. So March, this was actually March 1st, solid day trading, thanks to M-O-B-O-N-O-N-C-S. Mob had a great short pre-market, as you guys can see. I'll, since Alex pulled up the whole chart, I don't need to pull it up right here, but I still will. Just so you guys can see it a little bit bigger. Um, and we are on the first. That was right here. So this thing is just up pre-market, guys. It has really no reason to be up. Total pump job. Um, the catalyst was kind of weak. And here's the thing. You know, solid day. Alex was hitting it pre-market at 250 after the fail, adding in. ONCS, I got a little bit early on this, but because size was managed, which is always important on front side, or at least when it's not completely conformed, you know, from pre-market to intraday, properly, I was able to add to the winner and cover for solid gains. Taking the money and running away, and that is what we specialize in at MIC, guys. So as you can see, Alex had such a good average here. It's a total pump job. Held through, added into the open after this totally non-squeeze event right here. Total non-squeeze. So he got his confirmation, breaking the death line right there, uh, adding, or I'm sorry, adding right here and then covering into the washes. It's just, it's picture perfect, man. There's not much more you can do to critique that or say Alex should have done this. That's a perfect trade right there. So, and look, it took, it took conviction. It took some confidence. It took some real hold time. You know, that's not always easy, right? I love what Rockmon did here. Again, I'm shouting this guy out a lot this week, guys. Look at what he did. Here's the short, got his cover, hit it where it failed before. These are the peaks, guys. These are the peaks right there. Peak one, peak two, peak three. This is where you want to be short. I really wish he would have caught that first one because that was just beautifully set up. May have missed it. Maybe he was a couple cents higher. I'm not sure, but just beautiful job on making sure he caught that one. Really quick scalp. I love it. P-O-O-N-C-S. Wait for the tops to form and hit the pop and then risk the high day. Beautiful, beautiful job, man. So you guys are just, you guys are becoming killers, dude. Uh, AI shorted the failed push. I love this on Hooper X. When something gets demolished, guys, remember, those pops back to VWAP are going to be a really good edge on the short side when trend is that broken. Uh, OKYO have 10% 10, 10 left. I love this. Because look at this beautiful scale right where it failed before. So that's where you want to be. Scaling out piecemeal, 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 piecemeal. Like, I love this. And still holding 10% for probably a little bit lower to like if 170s could hit. I love that. You guys are you guys are killers, man. Uh, Russ, man, I love this pivot points and also where the stock failed before previous day. That's where a key level is. Waited for it, covered out on the wash, dude. You guys are teaching us at this point, man.
All right, guys, Thursday, March 2nd. Here's what we got. I got a couple charts from Alex, 4,200 for the day. Was feeling out this morning, so I decided to size down. Really important, guys. When you feel it, do it. To protect myself from myself, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde style. CDIO made a picture perfect plan this morning to short the bounce, and ONCS shorted it once it topped out. Very key. Stress free day, but want to leave at zombie times like process tells us to. Essentially, Alex, I can boil all that down into one word. Alex essentially wrote for a whole paragraph there discipline 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 do not force when it's not there if you're feeling you should kind of chill out that's when you should and welcome to what it means to be a trader guys it's a battle between you and the demons inside your head so cdio we're gonna go uh obviously i think this is the second right yeah march 2nd uh so that is gonna be right there so it's basically kind of like a day three, guys, because day one, day two, and day three, and then where is my chart right there? Okay, CDIO, Alex did a beautiful job of hitting this right in the morning into the outer lines. Uh, just beautiful right there, guys. I love that. Very clean. Not much more to say. Quick scalp. Bing, bang, boom. Out really quick. Uh, ONCS, because that's exactly what, the, uh, what, what he was saying. So I could read it out, guys, but here, uh, let me go back real quick, because you actually probably should read this. I have, I have a little time. CDIO, let's go back real quick. So what Alex was saying on the watch list, I see two potential trades here, either a morning pop towards eight to eight fifty to short with an eight eighty stop or wash out red at the open bounce attempt fail and then look to short it waiting, waiting though to see what it does. And then obviously Alex did exactly what he planned. So really good job, really clean, made his money. He was out and uh, there's not much more to say. Let's go to the next one. Just want to make sure you guys see this very clearly because I know sometimes we can go fast, but for the guys who've never seen these patterns and stuff, I'll go a little bit slower. Um, ONCS went from longs being trapped yesterday to shorts being trapped today, so I might ignore that on the short side. Alex realized that he wanted to attack it. As we can see right here, you know, we're coming in essentially day two, guys, right here, but it's strong, right? Like it's breaking pre market highs. Um, or I'm sorry, it's breaking yesterday highs pre-market, so it's up. So it's kind of like, all right, well, let me feel this out. Well, Alex liked it right in the open. You know, where did it fail right here? Put it in a nice top, you know, probably after the time of writing this watch list. And then what are you going to do? You're going to hit it where it failed before with a risk at bra basically breaking these highs. So guys, it's clean, guys. It's clean. How could you not take a stab at that trade when the variables align? It's day two, you have a short edge. It's already made a really nice top pre-market. If you wait for our lines right here that Alex was doing, guys, and it breaks, what are you risking? 10 cents to make 40, 50, 30 even cents? So three to one, four to one, five to one risk reward. Sometimes these things go down here and you're a 15 to one. You always gotta take that trade if the edge is in your favor. I mean, you're risking nothing to make a lot more. And that's exactly what Alex did. So, and Alex could have been a little bit more patient, but you know what? I can't critique that. He did a wonderful, wonderful job. So let's see what the members were doing. <clears throat> what's that guys i love this dude tom is our monster lately man ONCS so far dude he murdered <laughs> he didn't even let this room up for air dude jeez man like this guy didn't he didn't even let it breathe for a second my god bro leave some for the rest of us um mo lifetime member i love this dude Front side shorts require front side covers, then wait for where it failed before, especially because it's under VWAP. VWAP is the area you want to be, and then this predicated on this one. Bro, that is as clean as humanly possible. So beautiful. Rockmon, again, you're making all of us look bad, bro. Awesome job in the morning, and then had patience for the rest of the day. And here's what I actually love about this one, guys. Let me explain this to you. So, yes, he could have hit VWAP. Yes, he could have hit up here outer lines. He could have hit where he wanted on the front side. But he waited for it to actually top out and fail. He was like, you know, this might reclaim and keep going. He waited for this thing to put in a top. I just, it's so clean. It's so tactical. It's so calculated and good. Hooper X Tesla, I just wanted to kind of showcase an example, guys, where we're not just small cap traders. So even though this is in the, you know, basically main trading room, you know, guys, we trade big caps as well. So it's just, it's just super cool to see the polarization and, and the different factors of how much our community has to offer. Now, coming in on Friday, yesterday, I'm actually filming this on a Saturday morning for you guys. I'm trying to bring this down. Uh, there we go. Alex, 5,700. Let's see. Nice way to end the week. Rivi or R E V E. This shouldn't. This should have been a bigger trade, but missed some fills on the way up. H U B C was a solid shortener resistance. Good warnings today to avoid A I non inch play 
happy Friday. So let's kind of pull up both $5,700 for the day. As you guys can see, that's a freaking solid week for Alex. We'll tally it up at the end, but HUBC will be the first one. So let me pull that up right here, guys. And uh, yeah, this, this thing, uh, this thing got kind of smoked lately, right? So then it's, you know, it's kind of dead cat bounce back. And I mean, that's kind of the plan, right? Can watch this on bounces to short now too. That's exactly the MIC process guys is something that gets obliterated for a while. Let a dead cat bounce, let short outer lines or let short tops. And, and Alex just did a great job of that, as you guys can see. So, you know, right in the morning covering up and uh, beautiful, beautiful job. Very clean. Uh, what was the other one? REVE. -E. Let me pull that up for you. This is a clean week, guys. This is very clean. The members did great. Everything was kind of self-explanatory. This was just a random pump job awry, guys. Right in the morning, you know, Alex was hitting it. Um, you know, this this maybe a bounce towards 13, 50, 14 lines for a nail and bell short. Um, you know, what more needs to be said? This is a pump that absolutely failed pre-market. You know, hit the pops and then cover the washes, guys. Literally, it, it, it's as simple as that. Um, there's not much to something like that. There's not like this deciphering da Vinci code. I mean, you guys, it writes itself. You guys can see. So the final, guys, the final, the psychological level, we're here again, Alex, $980,000. So if Alex makes $20,000 more dollars, guys, this year, he destroyed his yearly goal, the annual goal of reaching a million from a 35K account. He's at $980,000. On the bright side, I officially recovered from my 43K loss last week. It took me five trading days, but now back to business, baby. So uh, I've got big hopes for Alex crushing that mark. Knock on wood. All right, so what were the members doing? Let's see. Ryan Conley. Nice, nice. Let me go back. Ryan Conley, awesome job. Beautiful long there. Uh, we're not just a short community, guys. Nice way to end the week. J Fusion, really nice. Yeah, $4,000, man. Take it. 3800 bucks. J Fusion, win, win, win. Like, dude, I love it. What clean trading, man. 500, 6,000, 1,000, 300, 1,000, 2,400. Like, beautiful job, man. Beautiful work. Um, David, really nice job. Awesome, awesome. When the trend's intact, follow it up. Or when the trend's down, follow it down. Uh, I love this, guys. Listen to this. Listen to it. Look at this. If you're not in the Disciplinary Workshop channel, get in there. Chris Ruka, these are his stats. He was saying the day I started, he tracked it using the Disciplinary Workshop. Guys, that is so freaking sick. It just goes to show you it works. It works. So let me kind of show you what that means. So here's our chat room right here, guys. This is obviously our Slack chat room. A lot of people are like, dude, what's Slack? If you've ever used Discord or heard of Discord for all the crypto bros, it's very similar to Discord, but like a thousand times better. Discord is so hard to use. I'm not trashing them, but Slack is just so streamlined for the user and a community, and I think it's king. So, guys, this is our Slack community, you know, essentially an, a, a different Discord kind of thing. And every single day we have subsequent channels. So like, here's the watch list channel. Like I showed you every single day, we're executing as a community, making a plan. Alex is curating this every single morning. We take it to the main trading chat. We see what's going on. The lessons, the, the warnings, the, the, the highlights, the everything that you should be paying attention to live, current, real time, you know, bow, posting memes, posting again, lessons all day, fills and charts and what you should be focusing on. That's the small cap room. Then we have a large cap and options room. You know, we have so many different channels that are going to help you, but this is the one that was just shouted out. This is the disciplinary workshop where you as a member can really hold yourself accountable and see how members are holding themselves accountable. And it's really about accountability guys. Like you need to kind of beat yourself up when you've done something wrong and really congratulate yourself when you're doing something right and holding yourself accountable, grade your grade your charts, see what you're doing right and really analyze what you're doing wrong. So that's our community guys. Didn't mean to click that. Uh, let me go to the website real quick. I want to show you a couple things. So this is myinvestingclub.com. A couple things stand out. So first off, guys, one hour free training. Download this if you're brand new or, you know, this is the first time you're ever hearing about us. Um, this, so that's the first thing. You can see Alex's broker statements, guys. Uh, view verified broker statements. This is Alex Tamiz. Uh, all, this guy who's literally, you know, that I showed you his whole track rec record this week. 8.2 million in the last three and a half to four years, guys. Unbelievable. You know, this is who you're learning from. That, like, what more needs to be said? This is your main educator, verified at the broker level. We have a video library, guys, that's so important. Um, full roadmap, you know, endless amounts of videos. If you scroll down, we have a full curriculum from the, Excel from the accelerator course to the curriculum to the 
you know, the face study guide. These are really good videos to watch, especially if you're new or looking in and like, what can I watch? Um, Alex's live trades. This is a really cool series, guys, in the sense that Alex will take a trade. He will record his screen live. And then once he's done with the trade, so it didn't mess him up doing audio commentary during, he'll add audio commentary after the fact and uh, just make sure that you guys understood exactly what he was thinking while he was trading. So it's a really, really, really cool feature of just kind of understanding what trading is and live trading examples look like and education along the way and thought process and it's really beautiful but so that's kind of everything um if i say you know i left out one thing let me go back i think this is really important guys i said this already in the beginning but let me just kind of you know take a second on this if you are not a member guys the most important thing you can do is book a call so you can text my line at 213-458-5997 that's why i kind of brought this up me in front of my setup but if you guys actually want to flush out a time slot on my Google Calendar in a call, please do so. And I think that that's going to be really beneficial for you. So do that. Now, all right. It is tradition. We'll, we'll wrap this up with the last thing. Let's see. We do this every single week. Let me just close everything, guys. <laughs> this is fun. This is fun. So, all right. Alex made 14300 on Monday plus 15100 on Tuesday. What a beast. Then 56 hundred on Wednesday plus 4,200, give or take a couple dollars, literally. And then 5,700 guys, dude, he crushed last week. He crushed it. He's back, baby. He bounced back like a freaking trampoline. So as you guys can see, basically a $45,000 week. And if you include rebates and stuff, I'm sure it's around 50. So Alex crushed it. He bounced back from a, from a lost week last week, which we almost never see him do. And the market was just choppy, man. It, 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 and FOMO happened. And remember, a lot of runners and black swans were cracking. But now it's back to basic process, guys. It's back to the regularly scheduled programming. And it's back to having good habits and making sure that you are not pushing too hard when it's not there. And then, you know, obviously time-based trading, you know, day-based trading and sticking to your plan, sticking to your process and making sure that you're disciplined along the way. So guys, that was the MIC highlights this week. I, a little bit long winded, but super fun. I will catch you next week and we'll do it all over again as we do these videos weekly. See you guys.